Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here taking a look at two new mini PCs from uh, Mele, which is a Chinese company which makes small form factor desktop computers. It's been doing it for a number of years, and there's uh, two new designs that are available with uh, some models being fanless devices. This is the Mele PCG37 APL4, which is going to be start entering mass production in uh, probably late March or so of 2018, and it's available with Intel Gemini Lake processors, so Celeron dual core or quad core chips, or a Pentium Silver J5005 processor. Uh, it'll be able to run either Ubuntu Linux or Windows 10. Supports up to two external displays with HDMI 2.0 output, and you can see we've got a VGA port here as well. Um, you can do up to 4K output. Supports up to 8 gigabytes of RAM and up to 30 gigs of EMC uh, storage on board, as well as an M2 SSD slot. Uh, if you take a look, you can see that we've got a large number of ports here. It's similar in size uh, to an Intel Nook-style computer, but because of this large heatsink on the top, and this is a mock-up that we're looking at here, but it'll look something like this. Uh, this large heatsink allows for passive cooling when you're using Intel's 10-watt or lower power processors. Um, we've got, again, HDMI, uh, VGA, power, Ethernet, dual USB ports here, a headset jack, two more USB ports, and an SD card slot. And the front has a power button and what looks to me like an infrared port for a remote control. So that's the, the fanless smaller model. If we compare it, there's also a slightly larger version, and I'll uh, bring that over here into the light <laughs> and show you that this version is also going to be available with uh, Celeron and Pentium Apollo Lake processors. Uh, actually, I think that version's already in the market, but there's also going to be uh, versions of this same form factor using Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7 uh, Kaby Lake processors, as well as Centium, uh, Pentium and Celeron chips based on that architecture. That's Intel's seventh generation architecture. Uh, these will be coming uh, or entering mass production probably in uh, earlier in March, a little bit before the Gemini Lake models. And while it is using uh, sort of the last generation of um, Intel's processors, the Core i3 model is going to be available completely fanless using this passive cooling here. Core i5 and Core i7 are going to need a uh, small fan, so there's a little bit of extra ventilation in here uh, for models that have those chips. So it's um, not, they're not quite ready to go with the 8th generation quad-core processors. That might come later this year, maybe in the second half of 2018, because uh, it's taken a while to sort of design this to be compatible with Intel's higher performance sort of uh, laptop-style processors, with uh, at least some models being available with completely passive cooling for silent operation. Because it does have those 15-watt dual-core CPUs, uh, we do have uh, support for um, higher performance applications, up to 32 gigs of uh, EMC storage here again, uh, support for an M2 solid state uh, drive as well if you want a little bit more performance. And uh, if we take a look here, you can see that we've got HDMI and DisplayPort and VGA support, uh, USB 3.0 and Type-C, microSD, Gigabit Ethernet, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. Um, and here's the processor options as well. So again, Celeron, Pentium, all the way up through Core i7. Anything lower than um, than the uh, Core i5, so Core i3 or lower, will be available with fanless designs. And the wholesale price, or the distribution price, for a bare-bones model with the entry-level Celeron 3865U is going to be available for as little as $99. Now that's without the memory, the storage, without an operating system. So the prices are going to go up from there. And again, that's the wholesale price. So retail prices are going to be a little bit higher than that. But um, entry-level models that are fully decked out with everything you need to make it a real computer could sell for, or could sell wholesale for maybe around $300, which means that the distribution price uh, or the retail price could be maybe $350 or $400, depending on where you, uh, where you find this. So again, this is the um, fan list on the lowest end uh, models. This is the uh, PCG 63KBL1 and uh, similar to what we might see later this year with 8th generation but this has the 7th generation Intel Core processor series and um, uh, the bottom you can sort of open it up and access the memory, the storage. Uh, there's also room you said for a 2.5 inch hard drive so uh, in addition to M2 storage and um, and uh, EMC storage, it does support a 2.5 inch hard drive for SSD. And of course, we've got these removable external antenna. Um, so it's, uh, it's got a lot of different options, uh, including the Type-C, microSD, USB. Uh, this uh, particular model has a serial port, so it can be used for industrial or en uh, business and, uh, applications. DisplayPort, HDMI. Uh, Ethernet and more USB ports. This is Brad Linder taking a look at Melee's latest mini PCs at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Um, you can find more details at lilliputing.com.